everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to show you seven wig styles. All of them are short, shaggy, low density styles by a lot of different brands. You won't want to miss this coming up. All seven of these featured wigs today I've either purchased with my own funds or have been provided by Wig Studio One for a previous review. You can find them all at Wig Studio One. If you expand the description box below the video, I'll link each one of these styles. You can go out, check out more details and pricing if you need any help at all. Uh, please contact support at wigstudioone.com. Also, from any product page on the site, scroll down, hit the help button, and you'll be connected with the live chat feature. So first up, I'm gonna show you Tress Allure's Isabel in the color English tea. I reviewed this one last summer and I was really struck by how light of a density it is. You've got these beautiful free feathery fibers, fine soft silky. This is just a very light density wig style. It's perfect for summertime. This would be a great wig style if you are just starting out with wigs and you uh, want a lower density style. Many of us coming into wigs have had hair loss for a long time, and it's hard to get used to all that hair. And a shag style cut is always popular and very practical to wear, easy breezy styles. So this Isabel has a nice four inch practical bang, nice shaggy layered back. Isabel features a double monofilament top. No lace front, but a double monofilament top. So anywhere you want to part it on the top, you're going to get an extremely natural look. I don't think a lace front is necessary at all to make a nice natural look. But again, I think uh, what the main thing here is that it's a very light density shag, short shaggy style that's easy to wear and adapt to. Timeless. I'm back wearing the next featured light density style. This is a, this is a selection by Renee of Paris. Um, this is called Coco in the color Frosty Blonde. I recently did a full review on this. And again, just it struck me how much of a light density this is. So I feel like there's plenty of fiber here to give decent coverage on this style. It has a workhorse style cap. It's a completely open cap. It has really nice coverage around the ear tabs and the nape. And because of this beautiful four inch fringe here, you really don't miss a lace front at all. It has a little bit of a curvature. It has a nice dirty cut. It just comes down over the eyebrow. I like to sweep it off to the side. There's a two inch nape. Now on any style that's a wefted style, a big wind could come and it could lift the hair and you can see the wefts. That's just the reality of having a wefted style. Um, on a windy day, you might wanna just take a scarf or a hat, a headband or something to keep the hair tacked down. But even the permatease, it doesn't seem to be too obvious on this style. So I'm really loving it for its light density, its timeless style and its ease of wear. Next on the list is Ellen Villa's Fame in the color Pastel Blonde Rooted. So one thing you wanna know about Ellen Villa is that many of their styles, especially the shorter ones, have a very light density. And when I am asked about a brand that has a lighter density, I always recommend that someone take a look at Ellen Villa styles. So this Fame is a short little shaggy cut. Each one of the fibers is feathery, light. This just feels like air on your head. It's so lightweight. Really nice coverage all the way around with like a four inch bang and about a three and a half inch nape, five and a half inch crown, lots of shaggy layers. Now Fame has a 100% hand tied cap, lace front, full monofilament top. You won't find any permatease. Um, on Fame. This would be a great style if you are looking for some really nice cap features on a low density style. So another 
other thing you want to know about Ellen Villa's fame is that it fits very petite. Um, it fits me perfectly at a 21 and a quarter inch circumference, but I have to say I feel like uh, any larger and it might just be too tight. It is short from ear to ear and front to back as well. This has been a look at the very light density Fame Shaggy Style by Ellen Villa. So the next style I want to show you is a short little light density shag uh, in the Tony Bratton brand. This is impressive in the color brown blonde. So one thing you want to know about the Tony Bratton brand is that most of the styles are very light density. Typically they feature an open wefted cap, meaning open top, sides, and back, a light density, a heat friendly fiber that's very fine and not too thickly threaded. So again, this is just another brand that if you're looking for a lighter density style at a good price point, this would certainly be one to take a look at. Impressive features about a three and a half inch bang. You can wear it straight down or off to the side. A five and a half inch crown. So that crown carries through the back and the front. So you can kind of get a little bit of lift there, but not a whole lot. Additionally, Tony Bratton brand uh, has very little permatees, just enough to cover wefting. So about a five and a half inch crown, as I said, and then about a three inch nape. I think there's really good coverage on this all the way around. Now, the reason why this brand is so affordable is because they keep the price point down uh, by just making it an open cap style. The caps generally are very stretchy, but they also come in a large size too. So this particular style comes in a plus or a large size, made from heat friendly fiber. But for the budget minded, I think there's some really cute low density shag styles in the Tony Bratton brand. So this next one actually may fool you a bit. This is Noriko's Reese PM in the color Champagne Rooted or Champagne R, okay? So the reason why I added this to the list here is because it's a short shaggy cut with a low density. Now there's some permatease, which you're seeing here um, to create this volume, okay? but the amount of actual fiber on this wig is very light. So I would consider this to be a little bit of a lower density style. And then there is quite a bit of permatees on the top and at the crown. So if you like a lower density style and you don't mind uh, some of the volume, I think you'll really like this style. I have known a few people that have gone in and tried to thin this wig thinking that it was gonna reduce this volume and all they're left with is permatees because they've, they, it's easy to go too far when there's already a very light density to begin with. A nice feathery light density. It's very tuckable style, but it is a nice wispy, silky texture. So on race, you're gonna see about a, a five inch fringe piece. There's a little cutout, I think, here at the forehead, making it frame the face really very cutely. And then in the back, about a five to six inch crown area and a three inch nape. I get spectacular coverage on this style. It's just got some unique shaggy layers to it. Now this is the PM edition of Reese. Reese, you will find Reese in a, an average cap, a large cap, and then um, you will also be able to find it in the PM, which stands for partial monofilament. This is actually the partial monofilament, and I have a review coming out on this one soon. But all the Reese's that I've ever had in my position have featured a very light density. It's just that you wanna be aware that you're gonna get some volume from the permatease underneath. Next up, a short little light density shaggy cut from Teresa Lore. This one is called the mid-layered shag cut and it's a short shaggy style. It features a completely hand-tied cap, lace front, full monofilament top, and then a hand-tied base all the way around. It's in the color 1020, which is butter walnut, which is an ash brown with some kind of a neutral blonde, light blonde highlight there, or natural blonde. But these layers are just so wispy. The cap features um, are very realistic. 
I do have a review coming out on this one soon. Wispy, wispy fiber. Not a whole lot of body in these kind of a shag cuts just because they've been taken down so much with the layering and the razoring. Okay, this has been the wavy mid-layered shag cut by Tressa Lure in the color Butter Walnut. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you Belle Tress's Nikki uh, in the color Bombshell Blonde. This one is just out of the box. It still has its tags. I just shook it out and plopped it on, but I wanted to show it because it has a little bit of wave and texture. So if you're looking for a nice, short, low-density shag cut with a little bit of curl, Nikki is definitely one to take a look at. I think it just gives it that element of pizzazz when you've got a little flippy waves going on in here. Nikki has a lace front and left monofilament side part. There's about a three inch bang, about five inch layers here in the back, and then about a two inch nape. Everything really gives some very nice coverage there. Isn't that cute? She has a nice illusion of scalp. You can just run your fingers through and fluff it out to bring out all the texture and still keep a very practical light density feel to it. It's very easy, easy to wear. And these low density short styles are super easy to wear and would be ideal as you get used to wigs in general. I hope you enjoyed today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.